Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So first of all, just log in with your credentials. So once you're done with this, just simply click on this checkbox and click on activate and continue. Now just wait and click on this activate cloud shell. It will take a couple of seconds. So just wait for that. And now click on continue. Now just simply come on the task number one and copy this command. Okay. Just wait a couple of seconds and the cloud shell will be activated. Click on got it. Let me just increase the text size. Okay. Now run the first command. Just wait and click on authorize. Now just simply search for the API. And here you can see API and services. Open this thing new tab. Come over here. Then click on this credentials. Now click on this create credentials and choose the API key. Just wait for a second. And now click on this close. Now click on this three dot. Then click on this edit option. And now here, please pay attention because this is very important part of this lab. Now what you have to do, just simply scroll down. You can see restrict key. Click over here. Okay. Now just go back to your lab instructions and copy this geocoding API. Just copy this and just simply click on this select API like this and just simply search over here. Okay. And I'm glad that I'm not able to find this API and I'm facing this issue because I know many of you guys are going to face this issue. What you have to do if you just face this issue just refresh the page and again scroll down again select a restrict key and again come back over here and now again search over here and now you are able to find this api now just simply click on that checkbox and click on ok now again scroll down and click on save and you are done with the task number one okay if you just simply click on check my progress you will get a score without any issue now scroll back down copy this Go back to your dashboard and run the command over here and it will be done in a couple of seconds and it's done now again scroll down now copy this document ai search over here open this thing in new tab like this okay now scroll down copy the name for your processor so just copy this name go back to your document ai click on this explore Then click on this create processor of form parcel like this okay now paste the name which you copy from lab instruction this name and just simply click on create so you have done with this task also again scroll down now copy this command go back to your dashboard just simply run over here then scroll down copy the second command just wait for to this command get execute and run over here now again scroll down now copy the third command and run over here okay so yeah once this command is executed you will get a score on this task number four so just wait and let's see and it's done now if you just simply click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue now again scroll down now copy the first command of your task number five and run over here and now this command is going to take at least three to four minutes so just wait until this command get executed
and it's finally done. Now again scroll down, copy the second command of task number 5 and run over here and this also going to take a couple of minutes so just wait until this command get executed. And it's finally done. Now what you had to do, just simply search for the cloud function and open this thing in new tab. Okay. Now here, please pay attention, guys, because this is very important part of this lab. Now click on this process cloud function. Okay. Come over here, then click on this edit option. Okay. Now again scroll down and click on this down arrow. And if you just simply scroll down, you can see processor ID and parcel location for the processor ID we have to just go to form and from here we can just get our processor ID just copy that and make the changes over here like this now for the location just simply type us in small okay click on next now click on this dot env dot yml file and now here again change the processor ID like this and for the location just simply type us in small again click on deploy just wait and it's done. Now again click on this cloud function. Now click on this geocode cloud function. Okay. Now again click on this edit. Now click on this. And if you just simply scroll down, you can see this API key. So if you remember, we create the API key early. Just simply click on the show. And now copy this API key. Come back over here. Make the changes like this. Okay. Now click on next. Make sure you have to just replace all this API key. Now click over here. Now remove this and make your changes like this. Click on deploy. Just wait for a couple of seconds. And once both the cloud function will be get updated, we have to just simply come on the task number seven. Okay, and run this command. Okay, so just wait for to this command, this cloud function get updated.
and as you can see both the cloud function has done if you just simply click on refresh you can see green tick on both now what you have to do just come on the task number seven copy this command go back to your dashboard and just simply run over here like this okay just wait and the command is execute now if you just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress let's see we got a score or not okay here you can see we didn't get a score now what you have to do just simply search for the big query open this thing new tab okay click on this done click on this down arrow then click on this data set and here you can see both the table now if you just compare the name of this table with yours both are same but data is not coming over here that's why we are not getting a score so sometime it might take two to three minutes or sometime it might take five to ten minutes so no need to worry about this just wait until this thing will be completed okay now if you want you can just and as you can see for me on my second attempt i got a score but i'm again saying guys sometime it might take two to three minutes or sometime it might take five to ten minutes so just wait until you get green tick on this task okay so just let's check the score for other tasks and as you can see i got a score for other tasks as well and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day